Keep calm and pray the Psalms for the Saturday after Ash Wednesday. Tomorrow, of course, is Sunday. The first Sunday of Lent, it has a Latin name, Incovavit. Incovavit. The Gospel reading for tomorrow is from Luke, the fourth chapter, that being what is commonly called the temptation of Christ. Now Christ, after his baptism, after his baptism, goes with the Holy Spirit into the wilderness of our sin, where he is tempted significantly three ways by the devil. But more about that tomorrow during the homily. He goes into the wilderness for you and for me, because that's where we are. He goes into the temptations of the devil for you and for me, for that's where we are. And he has rescued us from that. So come tomorrow, we will have matins, otherwise known as morning song, where we will sing God's praises where we will receive his gifts of forgiveness. Doors open at 9 a.m. here. You are invited to come. But this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. The rising of the sun to its setting. The name of the Lord is to be praised. Psalm 31. And we will use verses 9 to the end, or 9 to 24. So again, that's Psalm 31, the portion of it. I begin at verse 9. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for I am in distress. My eye is wasted from grief, my soul and my body also. For my life is spent with sorrow, and my ears with sighing. My strength fails because of my iniquity, and my bones waste away. Because of all my adversaries, I have become a reproach, especially to my neighbors, an object of dread to my acquaintances. Those who see me in the street flee from me. I have been forgotten like one who is long dead, I have become like a broken vessel, for I hear the whispering of many, terror on every side, as they scheme together against me, as they plot to take my life. But I trust in you, O Lord. I say you are my God. My times are in your hand. Rescue me from the hand of my enemies and for my persecutors. Make your face shine on your servant. Save me in your steadfast love. O Lord, let me not be put to shame, for I call upon you. Let the wicked be put to shame. Let them go silently to Sheol. Let the lying lips be mute, which speak insolently against the righteous in pride and contempt. Oh, how abundant is your goodness, which you have stored up for those who fear you, and worked for those who take refuge in you, in the sight of the children of mankind. In the cover of your presence, you hide them from the plots of men you store them in your shelter from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he has wondrously shown his steadfast love to me when I was in a besieged city. I said in my alarm, I am cut off from your sight. But you heard the voice of my pleas for mercy when I cried to you for help. Love the Lord, all you his saints. The Lord preserves the faithful. 
but abundantly repays the one who acts in pride. Be strong, and let your heart take courage, all you who wait for the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We speak the Catechism, the Ten Commandments. You shall have no other gods. You should not misuse the name of the Lord your God. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Honor your father and your mother. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife or his manservant or maidservant his ox or donkey, or anything that belongs to your neighbor. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead, he ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. O Lord, keep us in your kingdom, teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O Lord, mercifully hear our prayers. And having set us free from the bonds of our sins, deliver us from every evil. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Luther's Evening Prayer I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this day. And I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong, and graciously keep me this night. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Amen. You have a good night.